What's a bin without trash? Who's jail without Jack? What's muscles without packs? Who's sneak bowl without rap? What's weave? I mean, a train without a track. <laughs> Body without a back. Bone, home, without a dad. Now before I start, this isn't me slating homes with single mothers or fathers who have left. This is simply me bringing home some truths about some facts that remain undercover, no doubt. A household without a father figure would be considered incomplete. Stereotypically, sons grow up and resent that missing father figure to them about six feet deep, which causes a generation of hatred. Mothers get complacent. Women find it hard to find trust in a soulmate because they believe he'll be quick to slip into the next baby, Jason. It's quite basic, let's face it. Dad's in the home of the back bone, so when dads ain't around, sons grow up to make their mothers proud instead of striving to be the dads that's never been around. But then I realize I'm in an awkward situation. We live in more than just a fatherless home, I live in a fatherless nation. The fatherless syndrome is whopping through generation to generation. We make plans to better the youth and like absent dads, they ain't funding it. So the same way we ask what's a child without a dad, we should ask what's a youth without a government. Respect for older males and higher power basically doesn't exist. We choose to do our own thing and when they ask why, we'll have our own list because to be fair, they're simply all... Well, you see where I'm getting at with this. Now don't take what I'm saying literally, the government ain't exactly our parents but the comparisons correlate. If it's not wrong for a child to resent a distant father, why is it a crime for the youth to resent in what's meant to be an apparent democracy? A distant partner, shit, wrecked, flipping, heck, put together the missing steps. Fathers always wish the best, but they're not there for their kids, therefore it's disrespect to us. And that's the truth, on behalf of the youth. So don't blame or be ashamed of our actions or consider us insane. Because when it came to the important parts of our lives, you disappeared, David blamed and showed a lack of support. Investing so much time in the rich, you were coming to the end of their lives instead of investing time in us, you have lives to live and haven't yet reached our prank. You say we have potential, yet you're cutting down libraries, youth clubs, institutions to help us grow and aid to single mothers. How can we grow in a world where the dads don't help and the government don't love us? You're not a far if you can't disregard your own selfish needs for the ones you love. And the same goes for the system. They're above, but the link seems to be missing. Half the time, they disregard those half their size because they're only thinking of their own kind. So I believe as fathers of this nation, power's being misused, causing boys to become men early. And at the end of the road, the cycle continues. So I ask again, what's a bin without trash? Who's jail without Jack? What's muscles without packs? Who's sneak ball without rap? What's weave? I mean, a train without a track. Body without a back. Bone home without a dad. My good friend Nico Tree asked, Daddy, are you proud of me? I said, even if he was, the men of this generation that we're meant to look up to ain't even around to see, and it's a vicious cycle. Word. Thank you very much. Yeah.